instead of cutting one tile after another and one tile after another, you're going to be able to cut all your valleys at once and all your hips at once. So what we did is we just transferred that cut, because if you were trying to eyeball the cut over the valley, you'd have the other slope getting in your way. So we just transferred the cut we made here to exposed width. If you see a product that only really ends up saying ASTM D226, that can actually mean two things. It can mean it's a type 1 or a type 2. A type 1 is a 15 pound or a type 15. A type 2 is a 30 pound. So what D226 is, is actually a recipe on how the product is manufactured and the requirements and standards that it has to end up holding up to at the point of installation. So if you end up buying just a, D, a, a label that says D226 on it, you could end up be buying an underweighted product. It's going to allow for a foam caddy to stick a lot better than a surface that's going to have like a poly, polyethylene film or, or some kind of surface film that's been landing with the product. We were able to do some upper case of testing with the Navy based on a brand new HP modified software. They came in, they did put it up for the testing, and basically put it in a prime concrete deck, rolled it out with a two pound roller, that's what you can do with the field, and we let it sit for 72 hours. I think the greatest uh, use for this two component out here in California is uh, you guys make bait. Of course, I don't think you guys use stringers out here, but uh, other parts of the country are still using stringers. You can actually take the stringer out and you can shoot the, uh, the, the pan to the deck and then shoot the cap to the pan.